Yar har, fill de dee. Do what you want, because a pirate is free. Free to steal potassium. Welcome to Game of Play's Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. And to shorten the title, I just put it as Diddy's Conquest in the video title. For convenience and also text limits. So this is a great game. Uh, if you don't know it's a great game, you might be of the wrong age group. Because you may not have heard of this. I guess top 10 Super Nintendo games, this would probably be in one of them. You know, next to like, you know, obviously a Mario game. And, uh, you know, Link to the Past, Super Metroid. Which I should really touch upon, you know. Uh, so yeah, this is a great game. You, uh, you know, Donkey Kong gets kidnapped by King, now Captain Cruel. Then you get him back and the bananas back. Basically. That's the plot. And the Kong family's back too. Cranky's back. Candy's not back. I don't know why. Let's switch to stereo because, fun fact, I don't know if YouTube videos cover surround sound, at least for my uploads, because, like, it would be weird if someone were to rent videos on YouTube and not have surround sound, so obviously it's incorporated somewhere. I'm just saying that in case I do a game in the f future that does Dolby surround and I need it to happen. Listen to me! Okay, anyway. We start in Gangplank Galleon, which is cool, because that's where the last world in Donkey Kong Country 1 is, so I see this as transitionary, and without a plot, you just think it's like an exact continue mark, where Donkey Kong gets kidnapped but right at the end, but no, time passed. There's a picture of King Cruel, which is, he isn't in captain form yet. But I guess he has different wardrobes, I swear. It's like how Bowser was in the old Mario cartoon, where he just has a different outfit every fucking day. I don't know why. Yeah, that's a nice little team-up bonus that I do at the start. It's kind of my ritual. You press A to do that. A crate is like one of those... You know there was two types of barrels in Donkey Kong Country 1? The ones that either break instantly upon hitting the ground or the ones that keep rolling. Well, this replaced the ones that keep breaking on the ground. So that you can tell the difference easier. Otherwise, not really that exciting. Uh, there's banana coins, which I guess is the cryptocurrency used to spend money for your family in order to get them to do services for you. I'm not sure how that works out, given I could break it by constantly grinding for coins and levels. But there you go. It's the little bonus areas that, you know, just kind of had stuff in them, and you didn't have to beat. Well, in these you have to actually beat them, and you get a creme coin out of the deal. A much bigger coin that is not traded in for coin kind of service, but is traded in for something. If you want a 102% the game, that's what you need to do. Rambi the Rhinoceros is back. And he's back with a vengeance! Now when you hold A on him, he does this turbocharge thing. Assuming you hold up like it's a spin dash or something. And that's how you break walls too. Because you can't just break them the normal way by accidentally walking into it. The next bonus challenge is the destroy them all challenge. You know how to destroy things, yes? So, complete genocide upon the Kremlings, and then you win! Don't feel bad! It's just how the game is played. Don't hate me, the player. Hate the game. Actually, love the game. And don't love the player. Even though that's kind of what I'm doing here. So, there's also the big, o the big ass DK coin. This isn't actually important to the plot, but if you are trying to com do all the completion, you're going to get all those. It, it just occurred to me, it's not actually important. It's, I think it's kind of more important to Donkey Kong Country 3. So yeah, you time this test of strength with the item you want. I'll be I'll be voraciously going after bad coins in place of one ups since I have no trouble getting one ups. And I wanna have spares for when I'm doing all the things that I want to do in this single playthrough instead of just going back for more coins later. Which should not be an issue, especially if I die. The next level is Main Brace Mayhem. Yeah, I think you'll notice that a lot of these video titles I make or ideas I cooked up from how they, you know, try to name Donkey Kong <laughs> tree levels. So Dixie Kong is cool. She's the girlfriend of Diddy Kong. I use her hair twirl to go slow in the air like that. I suppose Diddy Kong could also make that jump if he did like a jump from the middle of the air from doing a cartwheel. But yeah, you know, she's kind of overpowered, so I try to save her when possible. Unless Diddy Kong... Well, Diddy Kong still got his agility, but... Both of them together can take on the stronger enemies that 
used to just take Donkey Kong alone. You know? Kong letters, they go together, they make one up. You know the deal. Uh, those beetles there, they're funny. So you step on it, and then it goes, like, on its backside. But if you leave it alone, it'll get back up and go faster again, a la Mario Brothers. And it can keep going faster and faster until eventually it, like, disregards its own safety and just accidentally runs off the platform. Like, really fast. You should try it sometime. These guys, they climb the ropes, and they're fucking orange, so... Whatever. I like the, uh... I like the sound of rain and wind. Not sure where we are in this boat, but I guess we're somewhere in the back. Where all, all this rope is that we just have to climb up. But yeah, Dixie Kong. She's got a banana for hair. I think that was the point. Watch as my barrel keeps going to kill all the rats. Oh yeah, you don't get that one-up bonus from jumping on a bunch of cones at once. I think I tried that. It didn't actually happen. So, that, that's been taken out. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I just invent them. What? That's the same thing. No. Reinvent them. Ah, I see. Going up this way. This banana has an invisible barrel to get my two up. All the one-up balloons now have the face of Diddy Kong, since he is the protagonist, even though it seems for much of this game I'm playing as Dixie Kong. It's just whatever works at the time. Alright, this cannonball, which, wow, really strong prehensile hair there. Uh, yeah, this, this cannonball, you can do things with it, but you can also take it to this cannon and then launch yourself into a bonus. So there's lots of ways to get the bonuses in this game. And this is, and that's my favorite, is to get the cannonball to the cannon. It's like golf that way. Uh, if you have uh, ever seen, like, this challenge website called Metro Achievement, let's just say one of the things you can do is try to kill all the enemies, like, for, like, a circle, single barrel throw. So, give this a shot if you want. I, was, I just want to mention that because that was a cool thing you could do. This one. one of those moments that wasn't, like, part of the actual, you know, game completion. It's like, here, try this. It's like, okay. Not that you should keep doing that. I've got... Oh, the Coon Glanters! Oh, there's another bonus. Excellent. So there's one to three bonuses in each level. The only way you're going to know is if you exit the level and you see an exclamation point. And you can also check for the DK coin symbol next to your level, too. So that's good. Here's the other type of challenge you'll see, is collecting the stars. And what you do is you collect the stars. They don't go towards one up, which is why they have stars in place of bananas. So I'm seeing stars! Stars! Yeah. Yeah, I know. Any, uh, any opportunity for a stars joke here on Game Wolf Plays, am I right? Okay, uh, banana coin. DK coin. The end target is just below me. I'm going to wait it out on the rope to the side to get my coin. Oh yeah, Diddy Kong likes rap and Dixie Kong likes rock, and it's all very 90s. Not to be confused with Puff Daddy Kong, haha! <laughs> okay, no. Not sure what that was about. Alright, the Monkey Museum, starring Cranky Kong, that rat bastard. Unnecessary sequel, he says, but video games might be unnecessary as a whole. It's the art versus science dichotomy. Oh shit! Wow, we're getting philosophical. Oh yeah, I could just beat the game for you. Not bragging about it, just make trying to make you feel bad. At your expense. Not at my expense. Uh, well... The kids have seen Diddy Kong get into Smash Brothers, so I think you're wrong, mister. He even got into fucking Mario Kart. And other stuff. Like, I think he's in Mario Golf. Yeah, he's all over the place. Might have also been in Mario Party, so yeah, fuck you, Diddy Kong is the man. Oh no, he's gonna put boxes on my ears. Actually, no, I know it's an old term for something. It's just weird how he says that. It's like, I'm gonna clean behind your ears. You know. Also, how come he has brown hair mixed with, like, old man hair? What is with this? And why does he have two canes but he just have a wheel? I don't know. I'll go over these hints as they happen. Yeah, you just saw me do that as my ritual. And that is just for some goodies. It's good for a speedrun. Just take it from him. I think it's banana coins, by the way. Alright, here. Yes, that's 
That's how it led to that one barrel that led to the uh, green balloon. So the hints aren't strictly for secrets, but they're for cool, like, goods like that. Um, yeah, I dealt that already with Rambi the Rhino. You know, an arrow was kind of pointing towards it, so it's not like I could have missed that. Alright, this refers to Gangplank Galley, and uh, there's going to be an invulnerability barrel. And this hint, which must be really good if it's this expensive. Oh yeah, this is what hints at the presence of an invisible hook. Which is interesting. And there's a lot of invisible things that become visible in this game. Man, I better clean this, assuming the background never changes. Oh man! I should have thought of that before. This level name is not really inspired. It's like... Why? It's like calling the president of the United States, Mr. United States. I don't think you're trying too hard. Mr. States, may I have a word with you? Yes. You realize your name is United States. Yes. And that's why you want to become president? Yes. Even though it makes no sense for your personality or character to be president? Yes. That sounds like United States to me. Correct! Interesting. So, the Red Zingers cannot really be killed? But you can just keep throwing shit at him and hope it breaks! Isn't that nice? The DK coin is right at the start! We have lots of ways to hide our DK coins, sometimes in very asshole ways. So think about that. Oh, you know what? I I'm wondering if you do need all the DK coins for the last, um, quote-unquote boss. I never really thought about it, because I never tried to play that way. You need to team up in order to go to that barrel, and it's the only way to get your grow. I'm not going for an old Kong run. I just... I just remember to do this now. It's like, ah, oh, that barrel's not important. What's it doing high up there? No, this game expects you to use the team up. You better fucking team up, okay? Fun trick you can do is if you throw the chest a particular way at an enemy, and you just wait and stand with it, the item that comes out of it will just appear right on your face. It's really cool. Alright, these are guys you can't kill unless you break an item on them, or team up and throw your partner at it. Otherwise, they'll get mad, turn red, and go super fast for a little bit. And they'll be really angry! Because they're not surfer bros. I mean, they look like surfer bros. You like this secret? I do too. Alright, this is the... barrel stacked with muscle-bound dudes that Cranky Kong was talking about. Right up here, and we'll get a 1-up on the way. How nice is that? Oh yeah, I like that sunset in the background. You've heard the old saying, uh... Red at night, sailor's delight. Red in the morning, sailor's warning. And it's something to do with... I think it's like a... I have to look it up, but I think it's... I think I remember it being a relationship between barometric pressure and... Uh, sunlight, because... Red... Being the longest wavelength or something is easier... To see when it goes out dim like that during... The, I don't know. I think it's possible that there's green flashes. I forget. But yeah, just one of those factoids that's in my headoid that I don't necessarily rememberoid. Apologies for that. I just can't help myself and talk about many different things. It's not going to be like the last game where I ran out of stuff easily. No, there's lots of stuff to talk about here. Everything's different. Welcome to school. I'm the head Mr. Srinklikong. So what you want? This isn't really college. But I guess it's a uni not a university, so we're going with this. So whereas Cranky Kong gives you, like, is like a tips and tricks magazine, Wrinkly Kong is more like the tutorial. <laughs> so it's probably important to go here if only you don't have an instruction manual, which you probably don't. I don't know why you don't read those. You really should. Go to replacementdocs.com and get your fucking instruction manuals. Yeah, um, this is telling you to spend money. On her specifically. Do you know how to swim? Guess what? You can swim. It's also telling you specific ways that you can swim, like really fast up, or really down, or just, you know, kind of controlled swimming that you can do in Mario World also. This just explains how the end goal works. Pretty layman's like. This explains this maneuver that I did in the first level with Rambi to open up the wall. And it also just keep going until you stop them and jump or something. And the most, probably the most important tip in this, in this college, 
is the team up. All right. Also, be careful not to throw your partner in like uh, an obstacle where you can get hit because then you just sacrificed your partner for no reason. Although you can throw him in like a bottomless pit and it'll come back, supposedly. And then she gives you boss tips, which you'd think would be Craggy's thing, but no. And even more importantly, you can save the game. The first time is free, the second time costs money. So make sure you get some coins before you do that. I've, it's good that they took that away in Dog Hunt Country 3, though, because I feel like that's the, the big shortcoming of this game. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be such an issue if the coins actually saved, though, because you can see the creme coins and the DK coins save. But the coins they use in Dog Hunt Country 3 also get saved, even though you don't use them to save, so it's like, I feel like they made their own problem redundant by doing two things that helped that when only one thing needed to be done, but okay. That's fine. We can have it both ways. I will see you next time when I destroy this pirate ship. I don't really destroy it, but um, we're gonna we're gonna meet a f other couple Kongs on the way, as well as the boss. See ya.